Edith LeBert here backstage with new Cage Warriors Bantamweight World Champion Dominic Wooding. How much have you worked on that Jorge Masvidal move? Because it was beautifully <laughs> executed. Uh, you know what, the camera should have got us drilling that in the change rooms. I was drilling that a lot. I knew that was one of the shots that I could catch him with him shooting because he shoots in a lot. He's got a fast shot. And he, he, he's got a fast shot, but sometimes he shoots from far out. So it's easy, it can, you can easily time an uppercut or knee. And obviously I'm, I'm fast pitch. I'm, I've got very fast reaction. So it was just a matter of time of catching with the knee or uppercut or whatever. Um, tough, tough fight. I knew what he was coming to do. Uh, I knew he was coming to take me down, take my back, get a rainy control, which is what he did in the first round. But like I said, like I said in, in the lead up to this fight, I've had my trials and tribulations. Listen, fuck my record. My record is eight and four. Does not match my abilities. But within those four losses, I fought some top, top opposition and I've learned a lot throughout those losses. So me facing adversity in that fight, I was cool, calm and clear because I've been there before. I've had my back taken loads of times in fights. I've been taken down in fights. The thing is with me, it's just a matter of time when I catch you. And I said it on the vlogs. I said it in the in in Trilogy Series vlogs. It's a matter of timing and precision. And that's what I bring. You can beat me. Four rounds. Four and a half rounds out of the five. I can catch you anytime, anywhere, any place. Anytime, anytime and any, anywhere where I want. Is it, is it frustrating though to be smothered like this for you know, a couple of rounds, three rounds? And, but did you know, you probably knew you was going to get tired eventually. I already knew this because I, I fought... Tough opposition that's, that, that has the same similar style to him, and they've smothered me for a bit until I got my time. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't rest the way he was wrestling, you can't wrestle like that for five rounds. You could try to, but when you're, when you're fighting someone as explosive as me and as fast twitch as me, you're going to gash yourself out. Do you know what I mean? As much as I'm getting tired, you're getting tired even more because you're just grappling, a lactic acid building up. I just, it was just a matter of time for me. Do you know what I mean? I, I knew I was going to catch him. And you mentioned having corrected a few things. What have you worked on exactly? Because you obviously, even with someone like Nathan Fletcher, you struggle to keep you down. 100%. Um, for this, this fight, obviously working my strike and everything, but obviously we knew what he was coming to do, take me down or whatever. So obviously we was working a lot under hooks for him to not try to get my back. He got my back in the first round, but... When he got my back, I was very calm and calculated because I knew he wasn't going to get me. It was just, in my head, I was just like, let him have this round. It's fine. There's four more rounds to go. Do you know what I mean? So um, just working a lot of underhooks and get-ups and whatnot, frames, everything. Do you know what I mean? So he even struggled a few times. He was shooting in no man's land at times. Do you know what I mean? So when I saw that happening, I knew it was just a matter of time. Do you know what I mean? And before I, before I finished him, I caught him with a, with a midsection kick. My, my, my toe flicked against his liver and I, I, I felt him go a bit. And then I hit him to the body, I felt him go again. And he backed me off a bit and after I timed the knee, started wobbling on his feet and after I just started following up. Do you know what I mean? So just, it's, with, with a fighter like me, it's just a matter of timing. You can beat me one round, two round, three round, four round, but I will come back. I will hit you with something vicious. And everyone saw that there, do you know what I mean? So. I have to ask you a question unrelated to this fight. Mm. I'm a big Israel Adesanya fan. And I noticed that he follows you on Instagram and he likes your posts. So what's the story there? Are yeah, you, yeah, do yeah. you know each other or is yeah, it just you know a fan? What? Yeah, through social media, we know each other. Um, I've been following him way before he was in the UFC, before he got to glory, when he was fighting MMA in China and uh, in Australia as well, and New Zealand. Um, we've been talking for a few years now and he's been following my career as well as I've been following his. And I like his style, he likes my style. I'm a fan of his, he's a fan of mine. We're managed by the same management company. So I'd, I'd like to meet. I'd like to meet him someday because I, I like his energy, and I'm, I'm sure he likes mine. He's a he's a very very good guy and a very inspirational guy. Do you know what I mean, I look up to him. He's obviously a UFC middleweight champion. I look up to him, and he's a good 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 role model, especially for especially for us young black fighters. Do you know what I mean? Um, he's a, he's a, he's a he's a big inspiration. And let me tell you one thing: don't gold look good on black skin? <laughs> Come on. You face a bit of a hostile crowd. Did that drive you even more? Hostile crowd? What are you talking about, hostile crowd? This is my, this is my slaughterhouse. This is my fifth KO in this, in this venue. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, it's a small, intimate venue, but I love this venue because every fight I've had in this venue, everyone got, everyone got sent to the slaughterhouse and I finished everyone. So, fair play to Nathan. He brought a huge crowd down. I felt like I was fighting in Liverpool. But obviously, I had my crowd down, but I think he just had a little bit more... I think he just had a little bit more, but that didn't bother me. Scousers are loud. 100%. But at the end of the day, this is my slaughterhouse. Your call is my slaughterhouse. This is my fifth KO over here in my pro career. So 
Do you want to be an active champion? Are you looking to defend 100%. your title soon? 100%. If, if I can defend this in December, I'm happy. I'm raring to go. Listen, within the beginning of my career, as, as I was a prize fighter, as a flyweight, a lot of people were avoiding me. It was hard to get fast. I was fighting like once a year. If I was lucky, twice a year. But now with cage rows, I feel like Graham can make me active. Do you know what I mean? So you never know. It could be UFC next. You don't know. In this game, you can lose so much so quick, gain so much so quick. Like, look at my... my Last year ago, last year ago in 2019, I, had, I was on a two-loss trot. Two, fight, two fights after that, look where I am, cage draws champion. Do you know what I mean? So a lot of people were writing me off, even for this fight, a lot of people were writing me off, but I had the self-belief in myself, do you know what I mean? A lot of people were writing me off, people, even the odds makers, everyone was saying, oh, Nathan's going to beat him, he's going to take it back, Rene choke. He's first round stoppage, second round stoppage. I was just like, oh, it is what it is. Listen, I've been here before. He hasn't had his trials and tribulations. Now he's having it. And I told him after the fight, I said, listen, you're a good prospect. You're one of the toughest guys that I've faced so far now. Listen, keep going. I told him, keep going. I'll meet you someday soon. And I think where we'll meet again will be in the UFC. So that's what you told him at the end of the fight when you... 100%, came. listen. Like I said in the, like the lead-up to this fight, I've got no animosity towards him. He's a prospect like myself. We're both coming up. Do you know what I mean? But obviously with his gym, next gen, obviously Paddy Pimbley, everyone else like blowing up in that gym. It's good for them, but... When you're coming up against me, it's a different story, do you know what I mean? So, fair play to him, do you know what I mean? He'll be back. He'll be back for sure. He'll be back for sure. Well, great sportsmanship. We love to see that. And congratulations. Amazing performance tonight. Thank Beautiful. You very much.